Well, guys, right. welcome back to Dude, Where's My Lighter? I'm Flo, Angel, and obviously we have Miss Katie Cush here on set today. Hi. And we're going to get right into it, I think. You Super know, excited to be here. This is the first time you started smoking in over a week. How I are you know. feeling? I feel great. Are you ready for a quick little bong rip? Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So obviously this month, as you know, we come out with new monthly pieces, and this one is the Trippy Mushroom Box. I'm in love with it. Which one's your favorite piece? Just some from view, because you obviously need to try each one, because everyone hits different. From view, I feel like it's going to be the bigger one, just because it looks like it the tornadoes XL. really well. Is it the Yeah, girth? you know what? Yeah. I, I went to Hardeen, and someone said it reminds them of the Vortex a little bit. It's kind of like the same you know, structure almost of that one. I will never look at those the same now. Uh, no, it definitely <laughs> you don't like has the some girth. <laughs> no, because it has girth. <laughs> yeah. This one, yes, it, it is a little ripper for sure. Well, do you want to take a, a quick hit, Angel? Yeah, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a little bit. Alright, well you need to give your XL over to Katie because that's the one she wants to try. Ooh yeah. Oh look at those faces. It's so adorable. Oh, and they're already loaded. God, y'all are yeah, oh. I'm, I'm on it. On it. I'm fucking on uh, it. I'm gonna take my feedback. The whole second. purpose of having a hamper box. Yeah. Fucking don't have to wait for shit. Just gets oh. fucking comes to the door and you're good to go. You're right. You're right. I should have came correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is not even a plug name, but where the fuck is my? Lady? <laughs> oh, dude, it's right there. Oh, fuck. Hey, I got you. Got you. you. You made me it? ugly laugh. And that I was moved great. over your space this time. Is this a better area for you to have your stuff? It's amazing. You've yeah. done a great job. All right, cool. Because yesterday you were complaining about how it was in front of you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm fat. I complain about everything. Dude. <laughs> you All know, awesome. actually, actually, I have a question. Yes. How often do you go to the gym? I try my best. I try. I try yeah, my you're best. Yeah, ruined the bong rip, dude. <laughs> I don't know the bong rip. I just asking a question. That's okay. I, I jumped the gun. Um, I try to go as much as I can. I'm not good. I'm not consistent. I haven't been to the gym since I've had surgery either. So, dude, but holy cow, not eating does, it's not, not advice, but not eating is uh, doing me so well. I you look so great. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. my abs are showing. I'm not bloated. Holy shit. No, no. Feels amazing. I need to get my wisdom teeth removed again. Yeah. Just for a little, right? <laughs> Just one more time. No, I, I went to the gym today, so. I don't you know did? Feels. Yeah. Which one do you go to again? Kilo? Is it still Kilo? I, I went to Jim Hemper. Jim Hemper. Oh. Yeah, so during COVID, because, uh, you know, no one knew what the fuck was going on in this world, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we bought some gym equipment. That's good. That's lovely. Well, let's yeah. fucking take this hit, man, Ready? and then we yeah, can keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Put a pause on that. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's a... Was that you that just hit that? Because yeah. that sounded sick. Sounded sick, right? Yeah. Sounds really good. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I gotta hit this again. I, that was a pussy hit. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute. Excuse me. <coughs> no, I mean coughing's a part of it, right? <laughs> if you ain't choking, you ain't smoking. Isn't that the saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to Dude. Where's my lighter? <laughs> Where you get really baked and talk about <laughs> cool shit. <laughs> What a background noise to have with them. Hey, it's all good. <clears throat> all right, oh I'm coming gosh. back. I'm coming back. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> Was that the strawberry banana? Uh, apple and banana. Sorry, apple and banana. Yes, from Trike. It's pretty good. <laughs> it really does taste delicious. It does. It's probably. I mean, I really like their. Uh, what was it, Betty White, that they had the other week? I don't know. That was probably one of my favorite ones. Anywho, did you, did you say uh, banana? Banana? You can taste it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I, I, oh, wait, I, but I you're fucking than, allergic to banana. I'm more than <laughs> fucking taste it. Uh, you're really <laughs> allergic to banana? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> but there's no banana in it, though. <laughs> no, but it's. Here's the thing. So, how much do you know about allergies? I know quite a bit. So, <laughs> I don't know jack shit. And well, I mean, I've I know learned, that I'm fucking really allergic to cats. But that's about it. 
Bummer. But I mean, yeah, I think it'd be fine. There's no actual banana in there. It might just taste it's not. Like it. It's not that. Is that I don't know which protein <laughs> in the banana is what triggers it. Oh, so that's the problem. That that's where it's. it's there's one protein element in the banana that makes me allergic to it. You think that it would have a protein in it from a banana? I don't in think the so. Weed, I, if, I think it's just all the is a naturally derived ingredients like they put on packaging in the store. Here, I mean, we can see what it's, knows? it's a hybrid. <laughs> so see if they tell us what it's bred with. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think Katie's turning me into a foot guy right now. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I actually saw you on the highway the other day. What? Are you joking? <laughs> no, swear. Stalker. I was driving down uh, 15. Oh, no. And I saw, you know, on Little Darling. Yeah, side, you did. You're going to be over <laughs> there. Oh, nice. I don't even drive that way anymore. You're so yeah. right. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. be over there. I think the 215 fucking cross Vegas. <laughs> That's good. I was like, oh, shit. She's about to be on the, the oh, pod man. in a couple days. Are you going to come down? <laughs> it's actually my birthday. Stop Whoa, it right what now. What day is it on? Yeah. Let me give you a lap dance for your birthday. It's a oh, whole new God. club. I know it is. I haven't <laughs> been there since I was 18. Hold on. What's the name of the spot? <laughs> Little, little Darlings. Darlings. You've never little been to Little Darlings. I've never been to Little Darlings. No. So Little Darlings is... I haven't oh, been you haven't allowed. been either? I Dude, haven't been me. able to explore other strip clubs in Vegas. So <laughs> Where do you go? I only go to the Spearmint Rhino. Wow, everyone Rhino, loves that place Rhino here. I've only been to the Spearmint Rhino, actually. Really? Me and my roommate were gonna audition at Little Darlings, <laughs> but we went there and couldn't figure out how to get, out, get into it, so we just yeah. left. But we applied at Crazy Horse 3, actually, is where we ended up. Awesome. I've been to CH3 a bunch of times. Yeah. yeah, I like that club. I wonder why everyone's obsessed with Rhino. The one guy that I think introduced it's just the atmosphere of it. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut no, you no, off. You're good, you're good, yeah, good, I dog, think like good. I don't know because we go there a lot and we're really good friends with. Hold on, we go there a lot. <laughs> well, back in the day, <laughs> a group it's activity. A degenerate. <laughs> I don't yeah. Know well, where. okay. Sorry, I haven't. I'm not gonna... been there in a while. Okay. All right. All right. We won't put ourselves out there like that. Yeah. I go there often, yeah. but <laughs> I haven't been there in over a year. <laughs> and Hustler's another good one too. Mm. No, you don't <laughs> like that one. No, it's fine. It's, it's a good place. I haven't been there since like there was COVID restrictions, so it's kind of like right. Mm, yeah. yeah. No, th this guy, the Sahara, uh, one of the valet or front front door. The, I don't know the taxi guy, right? Guy's <laughs> name is Gator, right? When we first came, first time I came to Vegas, he's like, "Hey guys, you know, you guys want to go to strip club?" We're like, "No, we got a shuttle coming for the Spearmint Rhino," and he's like, "You guys should try Crazy Horse." I'm like, "What's your name?" Gator. I'm like. Yeah, I don't know if I want to try a spot called Crazy Horse being offered by a guy named Gator. What's that one Will Ferrell skit where he's like, fucking Gator? You know what I'm talking about? Gator wants his... So oh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> High no. thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, since you're talking about Will Ferrell, what's your favorite uh, movie to, to watch? A childhood movie you um, like to watch when you get high? Yeah, to smoke too. Well, it's not really childhood. That's kind of weird to say, but Shawshank Redemption is my favorite movie oh, of all time. Oh, that's childhood. That's is good. It child that, okay, good. That was, <laughs> I didn't know what well, that was weird well, to say. Well, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> I don't want to put anyone's age out there, but I don't know. It feels childhood to me. Yeah. Shawshank well, is true. like old. It's like yeah. 89, yeah. is it not? 88, 89? Yeah. I mean, no, 98 one. or whatever? Yeah. It's a good one. I was definitely oh, a kid amazing. Came, I fucking sure. loved watching on HBO. I couldn't tell you a single thing about it. I, I don't own remember the movie. it at all. It's fucked up. Someone got me the book so I could read the book. It's good. <laughs> oh, I never read the book. I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know it was a book either until. I've read maybe four books in my life. Not for you. <laughs> yeah. And it's a new hobby three, of mine. Three of them are manuals. Same, actually. Yeah. <laughs> manuals? Yeah, manuals. You one look... was for a Mercedes, one was yeah. for a Ford, and the other one was for a fucking Kia. <laughs> okay. I was going to say you look like a manual car guy. Car, who, car guy who reads his manuals. I don't drive shift. I need to be automatic. <laughs> no, the fucking okay. manual to the car. No. Oh, oh, the oh, fucking oh, transmission. Oh, fucking <laughs> I Where's thought she said you said drive manual. No, you not? look like someone who likes to read the manual. I heard no, you. No, no, no. Okay, so let me explain why I read it so that you can fucking not look at me like a weirdo, okay? So the first car I bought, he's going to laugh, but the first car I bought, I thought the car would tell you when you should do an oil change. They do now. <laughs> that car was in 2011. Yeah, they didn't back then. Like, no, bro, that car was 2011. What do you mean they didn't back then? That made no fucking sense why it didn't. 2011? Yeah, like there was a lot of shit in cars back then. Like that's a super basic, hey, you've calculated 30,000 miles, change oil, show on screen. Like who the fuck didn't just do that then? So you didn't change the oil to your no, car? No, I didn't change my oil to the <laughs> car. The story. 
Uh, I I had literally I think like sixty or eighty thousand miles in the car. Uh, it goes to show Kias are fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. There you um, go. And uh, after that experience, I made sure I made the effort to that the next car I get, I want to know everything about it. Oh. How to turn this on? How to turn that on? How to do this? How to you know changing? Like I made the effort at, for at least the car that I purchased because I need to know what the fuck's going on. I don't want to fucking go to the fucking dealership and like. Oh, here's a thousand dollars for an oil change or a hundred dollars for a headlamp when like dude, I can just go on fucking eBay buy this for ten bucks and put it on myself. The fuck? That's smart. I don't judge you. Yeah. I don't read the manual. <laughs> you don't have to fucking read the manual. No. But I mean you make a good point. I'm at the fucking dealership all the time getting this piece of shit fixed. Well, I will say the first car I did read the manual for, it was a Mercedes S class. So it would make sense so. to read the fucking manual. Yeah. That's right. You've told me about that car. Yeah, That's I your favorite I didn't car. End up, yeah, it's my favorite car. And it's really <laughs> yeah. specifically the 2012, 2011, because it has a fat Batman body. There you go. There it's you amazing. Go. You like that? Are you yeah. a fat body? <laughs> Big oh, yeah. old body. Big old body. Well, you know, <laughs> see, if you ever get into one, like, and you sit down, like, in the back seat and in the front seat, it's super comfortable, super laid back, super, like, chill. Like, you can just relax. You can do anything in there. And it also drives itself, too. No, yeah, the, the S classes are nice. Yeah. Are you a car person? Um, my family is. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Kinda, I guess. Cars are cool. I don't like things that are like boats like that though, so no. Mm, okay. <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that you just kicked up on them like that. <laughs> oh, this feels I love so it. comfortable. Thank yeah. You. She was like, she was like, like you were worried, like, oh, don't let me know ways too much. I'm like, no, I like the way, like, put more pressure on it. Like, I like this. This is comfortable. <laughs> I love pressure too. This is so amazing. relaxed. Wow. Yeah. It's good. I we have a this lot after in a long day. It's awesome. <laughs> have you ever done cold plunging before? Um, I've not cold plunging, but I've done like, I never say it right, but Cairo therapy. Oh, oh no, cryo. cryotherapy. Yeah. Yeah, you guys got it. Yeah. Well, I mean, we <laughs> yeah. have, we have a, there's a there's a company that we just started carrying on hemper. It's called Cryo, right? And they yeah, have these oh little, yeah, like, I those, saw those. Yeah, the, yeah, the those frozen pies with glycerin. Oh my yeah. god, they're amazing. Smart as hell. Yeah. Do you have one yet? Cool hits. No, I no. saw it at the booth I did, and I was like, what's damn, those are sick. Let's add it to the list, Jeff. But yeah, <laughs> add it to the list. She needs to get Cryo. Do you have my shopping list? Just oh, kidding. Yeah. Her Amazon <laughs> shopping list. Yeah, right. <laughs> it'll be linked. I'm just kidding. It'll be linked. Yeah, put it on the Amazon shopping list. <laughs> Everything. Do this. We're besties. Did That's we just banana, become best just friends? so you know, though. Oh, yeah, what? if you're scared of it. That's the banana one. Fuck it at this point. Too far. Well, you have your Percy my Doink starts over closing. there. No, I have Benadryl at my desk <laughs> if shit fucking hits the fan. And if we need an He's EpiPen. He's like, I'll risk it. I'll risk and it. And if we need an EpiPen, just run over to Brian's office and steal his EpiPen and just stab me with it. Because I, I have no balls. I'm not going to stab my fucking self. I just can't do it. I had to do that once. And it was... It, it, it was more of the psychological thing than the actual like physical that you could feel the needle going in. Like the stabbing yourself is pretty hardcore. Do you have any allergies? But, um, you know I used to not have any until I moved here. Now it's like. It's all no, the wind and age. shit out here. No, that's age. Shh. No oh yeah, that. actually, that I am twenty one forever. It's every twelve oh, yeah. years or <laughs> no, something no, no. it changes. Some shit like that, right? Is it twelve years? I don't know. I don't know. I've been allergic to cats my whole fucking life, but since I moved out yeah. here, I feel like my allergies are more intense just because of like the, you know, fucking. This weather's crazy. Wind. The wind and shit is insane. Yeah. Um, but like penicillin's really all that I know that I, I never really had a reaction much to anything. Just to some medicine once. Interesting. Yeah. 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 I'm lucky on that regard because I love having my cat and I love dogs, so. I've had to give up milkshakes. <laughs> oh no okay so i definitely think i have something going on there but i'm just never oh, gonna come to it okay okay so what do you feel <laughs> i just get feel like was your tongue tingle oh no oh you get like that i feel uh, like i yeah. have like stomach problems oh no that's just like the back end problem that's not even that serious <laughs> like that's just like get yourself a fucking probiotic and fucking All clean right. yourself up really quickly there never mind damn you have a lot of allergies <laughs> oh no 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 i just have no Okay, I don't have a lot of allergies. But I know someone that's allergic to <laughs> everything. That's more than one. That's a lot. <laughs> I know someone who's allergic to everything. Uh huh. All right, that's that's where that started. Mm -hmm. But my allergy, it's a protein that's in bananas that's also in avocados. What? Yes. <laughs> so avocados, bananas, and you just said milkshakes. No milkshakes because every milkshake is only good with a banana. 
I mean, vanilla milkshakes, chocolate milkshakes, strawberry milkshakes, even strawberry. Strawberry is bomb. I can yeah. give you a strawberry milkshake. A Neapolitan dog. And if I give you a strawberry milkshake yeah. with a banana, like, like, trust me, bro, you you won't taste the banana. You'll taste the strawberry all day. I mean, I fucking love bananas, though. So. Yeah, but every every place you go to now, it's like it's strawberry in this, or, or no, banana in this, banana in that, banana in this. I'm like, bro, like, give me something without bananas over here. <laughs> Can't even have fucking banana bread, bro. At the I did not know bananas were so prevalent like that. <laughs> oh yeah, no, look at fucking are. ingredients and shit. Like I, I was surprised. <laughs> I was fucking surprised. <laughs> yeah, I was. I'm, I'm gonna light this one up. I'm okay. gonna light this All one right. up actually. Fine. Fine. I need. Well, I, need, I just need to smoke too. I'm like, <laughs> I love this conversation. Yeah, I mean, we got we got tons of weed over here. Yeah. yeah. So when did you like get into the industry and all that? I've been in the industry for, this will be my fifth year. Okay. 2018, the end of 2018 is when I got in. And then same time as when you started your name, Katie Kush? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, so. that's exactly when it started. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Actually, I started at like streaming for six months before I got in the industry, which is just like live camming basically. Yeah. And I used to be Kate. What platform? Okay. Uh, streaming. It was through some guy from Stream. Oh, Streamy. Stream Mate. Oh, Stream Stream Mate. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Got you. Mm-hmm. Got you. Yeah. So cannabis first or? Was I smoking weed yeah. before? Oh, yeah. I've yeah. been smoking. I guess my ex is really who got me. I tried. My first time smoking weed was junior year. So never really used to get high. Right. So I kind of didn't really care. And then I got with my ex and um, he sold it. So I was smoking all the time. <laughs> and I've been hooked ever since. Yeah. So, so what's, what's the first story? Lay, lay out the scene. Of trying weed? Yeah. Um. <laughs> I was at my friend's house and I had just broken up with a guy and I was like, I want to get high. And we went to the park and I was like trying out of some fucking made up something. <laughs> You're right. was a and can. they were like, hold it in, hold it in. And I was like, I'm holding it in. They were like, you have to inhale it. I was like, I feel like I am. I don't know. I feel like when you're teaching someone, they never know what that means. But now right. I, like smoking cigars, I can't smoke cigars because all I know how to do is inhale. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah, but after yeah. a while, they were like, you should start feeling it. And I was like, nah, <laughs> I feel fine. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of sucked. I didn't think it did anything. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of happened the same thing, same way for me. I didn't feel I anything was the so first time. the first time I smoked weed. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's because I knew how to smoke cigars by then. So I was smoking it like a cigar the um, first time. Yeah. I didn't know that you needed, like, until, I, yeah, 100% that I know. Yeah. Yeah. For cigars, sure. you're you're taught to like you know keep it in your mouth, and like mm -hmm. taste it, savor it, and all that stuff. Not really like inhale it to your lungs and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I definitely was smoking cigarettes by then. Unfortunately. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, oh yeah, that teaches you how to do it. <sighs> yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I was young. I was thirteen. So that's. <laughs> yeah. Not a good age to start smoking cigarettes or probably weed, but. My I mean, was I sophomore it. year, so I guess I wasn't too too far behind you there. Like fifteen. Yeah. 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 Cool. Once I started getting high, though, it was like it knocked me out. <laughs> it yeah. knocked me out so bad. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would like invite my friends over. We would get high. I'd fall asleep and load them in my house. I'd just be yeah. like, okay, good night. Yeah. <laughs> and leave them there. Yeah. Then they'd take themselves out. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> oh, wow. So where did you go to high school? Tell about your, your alma mater. I went to three different high schools. Oh, wow. Uh, I moved around a lot as a kid. Um, I went to Apache Junction first. Okay. This is in Arizona. I was going to say, that sounds like it'd be something out here. <laughs> yeah, anyone... literally, like around the corner. Yeah. Hey, it's Apache Hills Drive, right yeah. over there, guys. They are so similar. Vegas and Arizona is so similar. It's not Is funny. that where you're from originally, is Arizona? I was raised there, yeah, my oh, whole life. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I went to Apache Junction first, then moved and went to Santan Valley, which is called Post and Butte High School. And third was um, Skyline High School. That's okay. where I graduated. All right. Yeah. Fun times. <laughs> <laughs> you play any sports or you just did? Just You just went to school. I danced and did like, um, so we had cheer and then also a team called Palm. And it oh, was yeah. basically dance or whatever. Yeah, I did both of those. That's cool. Cheer for which sport? Just straight up cheerleading or you you were like, <laughs> I was you know, like huh? cheer, cheer, cheer for like the football players? All the above. We would do everything. We would compete. Nice. Football players, basketball. Basketball was my favorite. And Palm ended up joining too. So we would also still go to the football games, the basketball games. There you go. Oh, nice. I that loved it. Lit. It was that I or volleyball. Yeah. I did volleyball for a while, too. Oh, volleyball. Yeah. I volleyball can never do volleyball. I was too short. Huh? Yeah. What do you mean you can't do volleyball? Because I'm too short. <laughs> 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 I 
Those motherfuckers no, no, are tall. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't jump. No, watching volleyball. Well, watching no, volleyball, no. yeah. <laughs> I used to date a chick who played volleyball, and I remember they were crazy at it. Sliding on the floor, jumping all over the place. It was cool. They got the behinds. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. She had a big old booty. <laughs> she had a she big, got a old, big booty. old booty. Yeah, I remember yeah. getting, I remember like back in the days, leaving like football practice or like basketball, you know, you know, I was. I was helping out with like the basketball team, like recording their like games and shit like that. And volleyball game, they'd be going. I'm like, oh, shit. I was like, why does everyone go to these volleyball games? Like, I was fucking, fucking, I wasn't social and shit like that. And like, everyone thought I was the biggest fucking pothead in school. I didn't well, yeah. smoke in high school at oh. all. Uh, like, when did you start? At all. So I did smoke for the first time way before that. I kind of was like i was just really focused on sports and like you know playing football and like just video games and shit that i really wasn't really just like another computer and shit yeah i, was a little bit, <laughs> I had responsibilities laid on me earlier than i should have uh, okay gotcha, so gotcha. basically you know kind of took those and kind of ran with it and then looking uh no i just i didn't start smoking until after i graduated high school uh just because you know, my father wasn't around anymore, stuff like that. I just needed something to kind of chill, relax, connect with other friends. And I also never had to pay for weed. Oh, yeah. So I didn't start paying for weed till I came to L.A., actually. Hey. It's a beautiful thing, not paying for weed. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. I mean, <laughs> my guy sold it. Yep, I didn't pay for it. That's yeah. what I started to do. Yeah, no, I, I just, I knew all the right people. Yeah. That's lovely. Lucky. Yeah. Great days. Great days. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> Good old times. Now yeah. I'm just trying to be friends with cannabis brands. <laughs> like, Same. Yeah, oh my let gosh. Me know, guys. Yeah. How long have you been doing the influencing for for cannabis and stuff like that? I love it when you guys call me an influencer. <laughs> I think you are for sure. Hold on, so, what? What else should we call you? What I you, am an influencer. Exactly. For sure. <laughs> now, because exactly. you guys told me I am. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely an influencer. I think in our space for sure. Um, I've only been doing. You guys were like my first really people to influence really thank you so much when was that when did we start working together it's probably been two three i followed you guys i feel like since for the four years i've been in the industry but i feel like i started really nice. connecting with you guys there the you last go. yeah the last like year year and a half i followed so, you guys for a really long time what was your first piece that you got from us mm, yeah mm -hmm. good question <laughs> there's so many in my house right yeah. now. It's amazing. <laughs> like, did you get the new set yet um, no, I'm waiting for it to come in the mail, but my eyes yeah. are like <laughs> field. Yeah, those should be getting there soon. I get so excited. The way that I talk you guys I know. up is insane. <laughs> All the time, and I love seeing it. Here, pass this to her. I'm always like going to, uh, if you going can to smoke, and I'm like, have you, hit have the you quick seen wipe these on before? It once, though? <laughs> yeah. What am I doing? You're going to try this uh, new hand pipe. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> 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 ooh. <laughs> ooh, 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 all of the above. All of them. Take it. Am I allowed to hit this? Absolutely. Or are you just letting me holding it? No, no, no. Or you can hold it as long as you want. You don't need to do that. Just take the hole. Yeah. Yeah. It's quicker. So, what's your favorite piece then, since you have so many of ours that you can't remember <laughs> your first one? <laughs> I have you guys set up. I have you guys set up in my. um. Oh, show us. We got to see this. In my living room, because I just think it's the most fucking adorable thing. Are we a coffee table bomb? Yeah, Hell actually. Hell yeah. That's a whole piece. I got to find the picture and zoom in, because you know. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. What Can else is in the know? back of the picture? What do you What's mean? going on? What's going on over there? <laughs> There's things that we have to hide. Okay. Um, <laughs> things. <laughs> things. Where is the fucking... Just it's, like, it's like, you know, you guys seen the meme with... Uh, the news anchor woman or anchor man, and there's like a dildo in the fucking background. I know everyone's seen that fucking no. meme. Yeah, dude's like giving the newscast and there's a fucking <laughs> dildo just like sitting there, full fledged action, ready to go. I feel like I'm so desensitized to things that, yeah, I've done that a few times. People come to my house and my friend will be like, I just love that you have a dildo sitting on your counter. And I'm like, fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I'd put it away. That's part of the, that's funny. That's part of the art. I wouldn't okay? even think of that. <laughs> my mom's like um thinking about coming to town and they were like can the kids maybe stay at your house and i was like you've been to my house you know that this fucking no like you know they can't stay at my house right because my house is 
not all done up. You know, it's not just not, just not. It's it's not for ages older than thirteen. It's not thirteen, guys. eighteen, dog. That's 18? weird. Yeah, eighteen. They gotta be eighteen. <laughs> I'm just saying, right, like 13, right. 14, Legally, definitely I mean, on fucking Pornhub. Shut the fuck up. Reality, no, yeah. yes, Let's be real. But, no, let's I know. be real. By the time probably. people got to middle school, you were all on fucking Pornhub, looking at like the most middle dumbest. Middle school, no, it wasn't middle dumbest, school. Dumbest like adult looking porn you guys could find on. Like, sh- like bro. It, was, it wasn't internet back then, man. It was fucking waiting for late night, night show times. You remember that shit? No, no, no. That was before. That was when like uh, before HBO the, at night or, yeah, or yeah, Show yeah, Max yeah, at yeah, night, yeah, the softcore yeah. shit. Yeah, that was the yeah. first ones, dude. That was the first at the softcore shit. Yeah. And then having having it ready to go back to the next channel. So like you can show <laughs> back to like, yeah, I'm watching fucking Nickelodeon over here. Fucking <laughs> I've never really watched porn, shockingly. Really? Oh, I mean I guess I, I kinda get that. Makes sense. Am I allowed to say that word? <laughs> words porn? Kinda, yeah. 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 Or words off of it. <laughs> no, it's not it's at okay. all. This is not listen, we're smoking weed. I'm True. sure we're gonna play some music. So we're not going to get this monetized at we'll all. We'll fix whatever we need to in post. Don't worry about it. And we'll send it to you prior, when we, of course. When, we, when, we, when people black it out, you'll, they'll know exactly what the fuck you meant to say. I'm so mad at myself for bringing up I had a photo, and now it's not fucking coming up in my phone. Yeah, I want to see the coffee table because set up. Because she single doesn't time. want to show us the photo that actually has the good stuff in it. That's why. <laughs> yeah. I got to pay for that. No free, no free shows. Oh, well, damn. It just kidding. I'm just, he's things? getting a show on all. He's, get, he's getting It's a, my a birthday, goddamn. Yeah. Yeah, see? You're kind of going there you go. Give me money for that. Oh, happy then. Passover. Even though this is going to get posted after Passover, just so you guys know exactly when we're recording this. But today's Passover. I did not know that. Yeah. No, I gotta, I'm going to a Passover uh, dinner after this, actually. I can't <laughs> wait to try some fucking latkes and fucking, uh, what is what is that, a brisket? Oh, yeah. Bro. I remember latkes and brisket. Andreos, oh. that's not the season, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> not the season, but the same people. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm going to the silver knights game tonight silver knights it, yeah it's the uh amateur hockey league out here i've oh, heard of dude. them yeah i i hope they change the, the the regulation i'm not gonna say anything but there's uh i love the hockey leagues you know <laughs> what <laughs> no nah, we we uh so we, they're <laughs> one of the like the sports that don't allow cannabis yeah but still, at the same public, time really? yeah. So like, yeah it's in their contracts that like they can't even talk about it. and dude was so Why? fucking dope mad chill like yeah. laid back kid that we met and like you know fucking plays for fucking jersey and shit and like fucking can't smoke i was like damn that fucking sucks yeah like they have to hide it and shit and it's like even even more crazier the nba just said uh you're it's all good yeah it's all good nba yeah. literally just the NBA announced can it do it, morning, i think all said, sports should be Maybe yeah. except for like NASCAR. <laughs> no, fuck that. No, 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 no. It's a fucking plant. It's healing. I do not see why uh, someone who drives professionally uh, could not attempt to partake in cannabis in any way, f- fashion, shape, or form, honestly. Well, I'm um, thinking maybe, I'm sure they're not going to be stoned while they, you know, race. We smoke all day, so that's how I would race. <laughs> all right, so. I feel like it I makes know. me focus. I, 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 I'll, put, I'll say this. When I smoke a joint, mm-hmm. and if I allegedly were to drive with this joint lit, yeah, I allegedly can get 35 miles per gallon on my drives. That's true, because you're going 65. So if I, I was a you. race car driver, I would definitely smoke. <laughs> like, I want to honestly take, I want to take a big ass rip, go in a fucking NASCAR car and just fucking drive around and see if I can beat someone's lap time. I think it'd be fun. the fuck of it. Have you ever done Speed Vegas out here? No, I want to drive a um, sports car so bad. Yeah, okay. so they do like the the exotic cars over there, and you can you know be chased by cops or go around in like the actual race. You can track. be chased by cops. Yeah, they have a whole experience <laughs> over there. You never seen <laughs> fuck that? yeah! Sign me the fuck up. Ready for I didn't cops? Know. Yeah, dude. And so- I to, like, nah, but it's not that real. Like I want to pucker up and be like, oh shit, I gotta get fucking no, out. No, they do it pretty because they're. It's one of them, like as a professional driver, following you in this cop car. So I mean, it's it's gonna be pretty real as it can get. Besides being on the street, yeah, I know. But you know, you want the butt puckering experience. <laughs> it's not. It's not in your mind that you're actually like trying to get away for something. Yeah, you know, like you got to really commit a crime. So I had a, <laughs> I had a, I had a friend honestly who like we were talking for a little bit and they like. They one time got into a fucking police chase back home in Florida 
and like we're zipping through corners and everything and all this crazy shit. I was like, bro, you're fucking crazy. That is a place to do it. You're a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah half the shit you see about florida man it's not it, it it's it's more real yeah yeah it's yeah. more real more it is real. believable yeah. for sure 100%. yeah there's a lot of shit that you don't know yeah. that needs to end up as fucking florida man true that that is true yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh i haven't been to florida in a while what kind of lighter is that I'm not a fan of florida. this one uh it's a it's a big lighter oh <laughs> That's okay. You know, I just I just needed a lighter. Light, I mean, you have a lighter right in front of you. You got a lighter here. next this to is, me. No, this is my new favorite lighter. The pink one? I have the horror one. Yeah. I've never seen someone call out a lighter so fast. <laughs> oh, you know, we know a thing or two about lighters over here, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just a thing or two. Yeah. It was a shame that he had that in his pocket. I had to call him out. Gotta go throw it away. <laughs> I'm not throwing that one away because that's a limited edition fucking oh. Bic lighter and not happening. Mm. Yeah. So 420 is right around the corner. Yes, it's it is. It's also your birthday. Heck yeah. Yeah. What do you got planned? Um, I should be out of the country. I think I'm okay. going to Jamaica. So what that's a right. way to celebrate 420. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's pretty dope, eh? I'm pretty excited. I was telling first, her she should do the tour. First time out of the country? No, I've been a few times, but I haven't been to Jamaica. I'm excited. I have a like a goal to get all the Caribbean islands off of my little list, you know. Ooh, what, you, what have you checked off now? Yeah. I've done Saint Martin, Dominican Republic, and Antigua. What part okay. of the yard did you do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, you don't know what part Good of the Mecca Republic you did. Um, I just went, you know. <laughs> she was there. I'm Probably terrible. the most popular place there. What's the most popular place there? Uh, Bavaro Beach, Punta Cana. Probably I think it was Punta Cana, Cana that I went to. Yeah, yeah. That sounds Punta Cana is where all like the resorts are at. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure I went. There. Um, Bavaro Beach is where uh, Punta Cana is the airport closest to Bavaro Beach. Bavaro Beach is like where all like the shits at. From my understanding, I haven't been there in so many years. I went as a kid. I don't even know if it's called Bavaro Beach. I think I'm just fucking <laughs> lying. But well, Punta, Cana Punta Cana is the closest sure. airport to where all the resorts are placed at. I'm pretty sure that's the area. All right, so you haven't been to DR. You got to go back. I have <laughs> been. I went near this place that was. Um, look, my t my phone will no. tell me that one. There you go. Because it'll if tell me the it. photos that were taken there. Honestly, photos I will tell you, Dominican t Dominican Republic <laughs> had the best beer, like coldest beer. I've oh ever yeah, had. that's a rule. That's, a, that's a fucking required. Okay, look how quickly I pulled that up. Okay, where was this? Like you don't have to go to the back. Like you know when you tell a guy grab you a beer. And the motherfucker at the restaurant or somewhere just gives you the beer in the fucking front. Yeah. And you're like, that fucking shithead. Like, no, I want the coldest beer. Give me the one in the fucking back. Do you know where Gorda Beach is? Gorda Beach? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> See, you haven't been. <laughs> you need to go uh, back. Trust me, yeah. I've, been, I've been to Santo Domingo. I've been to uh, Neva. So Neva is a little camp city near the capital where Santo Domingo is. Look, mm -hmm. I was That's... right. I went to Punta Cana right there. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're by the beaches, yeah. yeah. No, I'm just kidding. She just dropped it. I was like, I was worried that something was going to pop up. I was like, she dropped it. Is it going to explode? <laughs> like, what's going on? Um, no, I'm really bad at, like, uh, I'm just down for the ride, you know? I'm just down to go. <laughs> Hell so, yeah. Do I really know where the area is at? Have you been to Amsterdam yet? No. It's on, a, to. It's, it's on the list. That's I just want to go everywhere, sure. everywhere in the world, really. Yeah. I'm on, I'm on that tip too. I'm trying to travel. Yeah. Well, they're going I've pretty seen, soon. I've seen America too much. I want to travel. Yeah, I want to go everywhere. Yeah. Will you yeah. Will you take us with you to Amsterdam? Um. When are you doing that? It's later in the year. I know that. It's literally only for like two days, three days. Oh, that's it. Why? Yeah. Are you gonna make it a trip though and go to Germany and stuff? No, I'm not doing that part of the trip. I need to come back. I got work. Three days. That sucks. That's How long no, of three a flight days, is that? Bro, three days is amazing. That's a long flight. I don't know. Ask uh, Siri. 18 hours? For three days? I can't. I should like that. That's I a long cannot. trip. I cannot or 16, do that. 16, 12 hours? I don't know how long it is. Honest, honestly, it's, 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 it's worth it. Um, I mean, Google will know. I definitely need more than three days, though. For sure. At least a week. I no. agree. A week to two. Two is yeah. long, but... See, honestly, it depends. Days, right? It, it honestly depends how you utilize your time in your day. Cause like I love like me traveling, like I can wake up at any time. And if I want to be somewhere at 9am, like I'm going to wake up and make sure I arrive there by 9am, whether it's driving, leaving another day before, whatever, like 
I don't know, it's just you seem like, like a very responsible person. I was calling like complete I just, bullshit though, because we just got back from LA and it was not the case. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Bro, I was not responsible for fucking like March fucking... Madness, bro. I'm not responsible okay, for that. Okay, Fuck okay, okay, <laughs> Mister. I'm so prepared. You should check. You know what's going on, bro. You know, I don't. Vegas. I haven't watched fucking you know, sports. What, what in time forever. did you get the rental car at? I, I'm just saying, dog. I'm dead. Who was yeah. up at six? Take Flo. that back. <laughs> Who got back to my house at 10 a.m.? Angel. Yeah. What do you mean at 10 a.m.? Bro, you didn't show up. I'm just saying you were like four hours late to pick me up the other day. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was. So, you know, the crazy part about it was, is that it wasn't 10 a.m. Um, it was, it was 8 a.m. Um, but when I literally got through the whole process of getting the actual keys for the car and everything there, I had to wait fucking 15 minutes for them to bring up a clean car. They, had to, they were still washing cars. Oh. Well, it's okay. But I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's go over here. If you're going to be in Amsterdam for three days, you should stay up the whole time and not, oh God. you know, go to uh, sleep. The fuck you think I was not going to do? Come on. I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> All right, good. Perfect. The plane I'm gonna try, for. I'm going to try Exactly. If it's fucking, you're going to try shooms. That's the first time you're going to do it over yes, there? Yes, I'm going to do it right there. Are you joking? That's your first time doing it? Yeah, I haven't done it. And you're going to go do it in Amsterdam for the first Yeah, time. I'm going to take the <laughs> dragon on the top one. I love that one. for you. Do you do I shrooms? Do. I do. I yeah. love shrooms. I love that for you. That's amazing. Tell us, tell tell me, tell me more. Everyone's been talking about shrooms. <laughs> well, I, I mean, we based I the still whole need month more convincing. After it, you know? Like, what does it do for you? Like, well, outside of the month, like, I think this just fucking looks dope. Like, you can see yourself while you're fucking taking a hit. Like, that's fucking. An, I love yeah. that. I love that. Yeah, love that. It's an amazing experience. I'm crying over here. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> no, just yeah. kidding. Um, what does it do for me, shrooms? Okay. If you're microdosing it, I do like it to like, you know, kind of wake me up a little bit. I feel like it kind of undoes my life to say. Um, yeah. When I'm like tripping, I just love the feeling. I love to tell my friends like allegedly in the summers going to like pool parties and shit. And, you know, you're just like hit that good limit. Yeah. And, you know, you know, you're at a good limit when the. Plants are planting, man. <laughs> when the plants are planting, you are golden. And it just feels so good. You're happy. I'm dancing all over the place. I do get more imaginative even like a few days after, you know. Oh, cool. I love it. And I've yeah, it does it keep once. me up. It keeps you up. You know who was saying that the other day was um, Dab Samo. She said kind of the same thing from, uh, from her yeah, microdose. Yeah. Yeah, I've never microdosed. Did you do that often or... Um, yeah, I like yeah. to put it in my coffee sometimes. Okay. Yeah. I'll kind of like taking a step back. say the coffee back. is the best way. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's delicious. And you don't taste it because shrooms are... Yeah, I remember them tasting terrible. I freaked out my first time, but I was on Venice Beach and like 19 years old and I took a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's happened to me. I've I've done that to myself. Yeah, I, I freaked out. I, yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, just I, take I've a good... I've done acid or LSD. No, I did acid. Yeah, it was acid. Isn't that the same thing? No, and <laughs> you know, acid and LSD isn't the same. I don't know, thing. Is it? I don't know. I have to ask my boy. Like, yeah, and, they're, the, they're the same. I think it's the same thing. thing. Here's the fucked up part about DMT it. DMT is what you I would have never, ever, ever, ever tried it. Right. The only reason I tried it was because my childhood friend that I met playing Halo Two on Xbox online. We never met each other. So right, you only know each other from only, the game. Yeah, we only know each other from the game. We've talked. We've never even faced. I think we FaceTime. We've had each other on Facebook and shit. Like we saw, we've seen pictures of each other, but like we never met until like literally what 20, uh, 2019? I know okay. twenty twenty. No, twenty twenty one. It was twenty twenty one or twenty twenty. It was the first time I ever met him in my life. Wow. Like, That's crazy. No, and you did actually, with was, him? No, it, you did twenty nineteen. No, it was twenty nineteen. I'm sorry. Yes. Why did you um, do acid together? <laughs> We were yeah. on the beach. We were hey, Brad, beach. let's do acid. <laughs> no, no. He he came to visit. He was trying to like travel and see LA and stuff. Came to Long Beach. Um, and we were on the beach and like we were just finished watching a movie or eating lunch or dinner or whatever. And like we went to the beach and um dude, he was like, Yo, do you do you do you do you want to try acid? I'm like Bro, what? I'm like, no, I've never done that show. I would never do that. She's like Bro, come on, man. You got to try it with me, man. <laughs> and the guy looks like fucking Scooby-Doo. He oh looks my. like fucking Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, okay? He's going to listen to this show and send it to him. We're like, yo, fucking <laughs> I talked about you. But uh, nah, he looks like straight up like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. 
and like sh- this shaggy character ass motherfucker is asking me yo take some acid bro like i love you man i miss <laughs> you man like come on man you know if you're do it with anyone man do it with me i'm like bro you're like literally the guy they put in the fucking movie to tell you like stay away from drugs kids <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Give me a fucking, give me a, you know, a little, it was like a, a little tab. tab. Mm-hmm. I put on my tongue. Didn't feel anything. Took a second one, put on my tongue. And I was like, yeah, I'm not doing it anymore, but I don't feel shit. Oh, you didn't you feel did anything. You did two tabs and you didn't feel anything? Yeah, that's pretty nah, crazy. But he was, he was, he <laughs> yeah. was done. He was done. That's crazy. Like he was anything. just like, he was like really wild. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure you felt something. Cause if he was fucked up, you must've been fucked up. I don't know. <coughs> For sure. You know I was what? hungry. I did I order was... a pizza after that. But... Maybe I didn't. I'm never hungry really when I'm on acid. I always know I'm not going to eat for a really long time. So maybe I've I never didn't done feel acid. anything. That's, That's how I feel with like, you know, Molly or something like that or ecstasy back in the day. But yeah, I'm not talking about Molly. Back in the day, you know. You go to strip clubs back in the day. <laughs> I definitely did. For sure. Back in the day. <laughs> Who doesn't? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, acid used to be my choice drug. I loved it. It was always two times at a time. I was a trip, so that's crazy that you didn't feel anything. Nah, (laughs) I wanted to though. Yeah, you're not a drug person. I wanted to find something new. (laughs) I was like, yeah, you know, I smoke weed. Let me just try something out. No, weed is not a gateway drug, but I, I personally wanted to try something else out. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. We should, we should make that clear. (laughs) It's it's not a gateway. It's not. I hope you feel something with your shoes. You'll have to tell me that update. I don't know. Even Alexis, like, remember she offered, like, hey, you know, I want to be your shaman. Yeah, she wanted to guide us. Oh, everything. that's sweet. Yeah. I think I'm going to take her up on that. It sounds I've never like been fun. guided but to, for a trip. I just take that shit and fuck it. And I want to do, do ayahuasca. <laughs> yeah, ayahuasca yes. seems nuts. Yeah. I had a friend that yeah. did it and said it changed his life. It was like a three day experience for him. Yeah. It was wild. I want to do ayahuasca peyote and dmt let's go do yeah. it for your birthday damn i mean that's a lot <laughs> it's not like a fun weekend you know when you I mean? really think about doing it though could you do it in front of each other that's my no. thing no i think no so. i couldn't no, no, do it no, no no i couldn't do it with you my no. friend said the same no. thing i was like i can't do it with you no. now. i think i could no I there's there's certain people that i do not want to do it with I mean, the way that my friend described it, it's definitely people, you know, are all strangers in this yeah, scenario. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah, but the thing is, like, let's, so I had a friend that did it, and he was like, you have to be just be in the right headspace. Mm-hmm. So, like, but if you're not in the right headspace, it's like, it just doesn't, like, it kills That's the, the whole, whole thing. That's the thing about all of it, yeah. you know? Yeah. But he, he saw some crazy shit. His brother, I guess, is like some shaman that does it in, in LA or San Diego or something like that. Yeah. Wow. So I will say even with shrooms though, like any psychedelic you're doing, just like you just said, you need to be in the right headspace. You can take shrooms and have the same exact problem. I've had like bad trips on shrooms. I do think they come with a cause like for a reason, but it's not good to like put yourself in that. Yeah. And I guess it's not like, it's not just being in the right headspace, but like being in the right, like situational kind of awareness. Cause like if something negative comes into that space while you're on the psychedelic, like, Mm-hmm. It is going to, like, your trip just, like, you Flips. know, yeah, it's yeah. not good. Completely. Have you ever done shrooms, Jeff? Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, maybe we should do shroomies for the birthday instead. Um, I'm instead good. of ayahuasca. I'm yeah, good. Sure. So, wait. you're excited for Amsterdam to try yes. the shrooms? Yes. Okay, do I'm you think you already know what you're going to feel? You're going to have to take... What are you doing? Chocolates? Just the room straight up? I don't fucking know. I oh. think I saw chocolates. the guys from uh, uh, the guys from Barstool. They mm-hmm. were in the same shroom spot in Amsterdam, and they posted on their their IG page. Mm-hmm. I was like, bro, that's the same shop we were at. So, so you guys uh, went last year, and you didn't try shrooms then. Long pause. <laughs> yeah. What the f- <laughs> yeah, I didn't try shrooms then. How long was, were you there I was for on that? a weed. I was on a weed. I was on a weed adventure. Okay. Yeah, I heard the hash so, over I'm there in is, the ship, is wild. In, like, huh? I heard the hash over there is wild, bro. They don't even know what the fuck terps are. What the fuck are you talking about? No, they don't know what terps are in Amsterdam. Oh no. No, no. 
<laughs> like sad. we went to two coffee shops to get like oil. Yeah. And you're the first person that ever heard the guy that. literally did not know. He's like, what is Terps? Well, bro, I started laughing. What oil do you get from a coffee shop? Uh, they had, it wasn't oil. It was like more like hash actually, but they, they just like the guy had, I like pressed like everything and just, it's not. Nah. Yeah, we nah. have a bunch of hash here that we've been messing around with, which is pretty fun. Do you like hash? And I've ha I played around with hash a little bit. Yeah, I always loved it, but damn, it can knock you out. This one's different. At this point, I think I I would assume you've probably tried everything at this point. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure. But I mean, I think some there's people some don't things I have. You know? yeah, yeah, hash is a lot. I've yeah. had some. I've had a crazy story with hash. My friend like did not do well with it when we tried it together, but we were just blunt after volume with hash in it so yeah. probably not a good idea <laughs> yeah and dabs you like doing dabs we talked about that too dabs are mm -hmm. i love dabs too but i definitely have to be close to home <laughs> oh yeah or comfortable enough did to we be talk about this dabs. earlier yeah oh, not fuck. earlier and the last time i was here <laughs> oh really yeah they yeah. just hit they are they hit you so hard yeah so this whole time that i wasn't smoking i had a tincture and it was like a drinkable tincture. I got it also from Harding, but oh, sips. sips. Yeah, you can drink it. No, yeah. I did try the sips. The sips are pretty good, but honestly, edibles for me, the way my stomach, like, I don't know, metabolizes it or whatever. I feel like I, it doesn't do nothing. Oh, oh really? Have Have you ever had any hash rosin? I mean, not hash rosin. Like, uh, yeah, like like rosin gummies, like hash rosin gummies. No. No, maybe not. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you some next time we see each other. You definitely need some hash rolling gummies. Like, I've, I've hated edibles. I've tried, you know, a fuck ton of them, chocolate ones, you know, all this other crazy bullshit, and gives you headaches. I feel like weak. It's like terrible feelings. But hash rolling gummies is just such a clean high. It's so nice. Like it's, it's yeah. Yeah, you definitely need those. The first time oh, I tried the tincture, I was like feeling good, feeling high. But I, maybe it was also because I was. But I don't know. The last couple of times, I was like, I don't know if I freaking like it. I like Dang the tinctures it. a little bit. I had a beer once that was really good. Yeah, I had a beer too. Yeah, I forget where I got it from. Yeah, but yeah, the sips we were having at the party actually, and they're mm -hmm. they're pretty dope. I really like them. They're gonna be doing a uh, like a slushy machine filled with the, all the sips, Yum. which is pretty dope. You know, bring Sick. yeah. That pool's gonna delicious. be open. Yeah, wow. you're gonna miss out. <laughs> Don't make me sad. It's okay. I'll make money. Yes, yes, <laughs> for sure, for sure. But you'll be autopilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you go to college, or what? What did you do after high school? I did try college. I went to a semester at NAU, which is Northern Arizona University, for nursing. Really thought I wanted to be a nurse, but hell no, <laughs> no thanks, not for me. Yeah, it's a lot, especially snow and Flagstaff because it does snow and Flagstaff. No thanks, I was out of there. Mm -mm. Mm. How long have you been in Vegas now? This is my third year, three three years, going on three four years. Nice. Oh, nice. You so you just moved here. Mm hmm. I'm okay, a newbie. Dope. dope. No, no, same, same. I just moved here too. I love it. Yeah. You're from Cali, you were saying? No. Uh, I lived all over Cali just before I moved to Vegas, but. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from? I was born in Jersey City, New Jersey, and raised down in Florida. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay. All so, over. yeah. Florida, did San Antonio, Texas, then did... Oh, Texas. You oh, love, yeah. Love Texas, Texas was nice. Texas was really nice. Yeah, te Texas is dope. I yeah. love Texas, yeah. Maybe not the best town. I probably would have chose, like, in between Texas and, like, San Antonio and Austin, or maybe Dallas or something, but... Dallas is Austin sick. Austin and I Dallas are my Dallas favorite. Yeah, Austin sure. is rad. Yeah. yeah, for sure. San Antonio... Only thing there is a fucking river walk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's still pretty over there. I love Texas. Period. The ranches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, ranches, yeah. No. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I couldn't do college. No thanks. Yeah, no one can. College, college is a lot, <laughs> especially nursing. I'm not. Well, yeah, that's different. I mean, that's saving lives. You know, you're still saving lives. But that and like, yeah, that is <laughs> in a different way. I can be a nurse yeah. when I want, anytime. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, no, my mom and my sister and my step, I have my families that are all nurses. And just hearing the stories, you know, I did, um, after I left the college, I was working at a school 
for special needs and behavioral kids, which honestly sidestep of like basically nursing on the for care, real, yeah. caring for people. It's like a caregiving position. Bless your heart. And after yeah, that, for real, that's commendable. Definitely shit. one of my favorite jobs. If I could ever go back to it, I totally would. But mm. also kind of like don't ever want to take care of people my whole life, you know, for sure. I get that. I mean, real taxing. Kind of a lot. It taught me a lot, emotional. though. The little bit of sign language I know. I love doing it. Yeah, I really oh, wish I learned sign language. I want to learn sign, yeah. My sister did that as, like, her major in fucking college or something like that. So, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> Beat it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's smart. It's so... Yeah. It's, I feel like everyone should have learned it, you know, when we were younger. For real. I mean, so I took helpful. Spanish. I can't tell you a, a, a lick of Spanish right now. I know a little bit. I mean, Mota and Cerveza and... Si. You know, si. Hola. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Stupid. Que lo que five, mean. Que five, the local. five years of Spanish, don't remember any of that. Mm -hmm. No, man. I, uh... Fucked up part is, I want, like, I do speak English, I, do, I speak Spanish too, right? I'm Hispanic, but... I do not appreciate the fact that I was trying to understand and really learn Spanish, not just like, hey, you know, I fucking grew up speaking English and Spanish. I was bilingual, you know, my parents and all, but I didn't know how to write in fucking Spanish. I didn't know how to fucking read a book in fucking Spanish. Like school system honestly robbed me of actually learning fucking real Spanish. And they're like, yeah, no, because you're a Spanish descent, uh, we have to pull you out of this class and put you in Spanish speaking. I was like, the fuck is like fucking teach me dog i don't know the fucking alphabet in spanish like i i don't know none of that shit one two three four one, two, three. Like, that's all i can do like, you know that's it i, I can hold conversation bullshit but like yeah you I talk in spanish it. a lot well because i you know <laughs> my parents owned a restaurant yeah so growing up like i had to be a waiter in the restaurant like serve people and like you know there was mexicans puerto ricans dominicans Cuba, like every different type of hispanic like Sp like uh, the crazy part is there's so many different dialects and versions of Spanish where one word, like, you know, if you go to like between Cuba, Mexico, Spain, and like Spanish for saying the word bus, there's like fucking four different words to say bus. Yeah. There's undibo, wagua, there's fucking, uh, you know, like, there's why there's so many words for saying one fucking item. Yeah. <laughs> why? I can, you know? Yeah. English is the same way, but it's yeah. like, I don't know why. Yeah, I wish it's easier to learn when you're a child. So I do wish they would have kind of like enforced. For sure. Do you, languages. you only know English? Only a little bit of Spanish, yeah. Just, just a little bit of Spanish, huh? yeah. Get there. I can't hold a conversation. When I was working at the school, the um, receptionist who helped me learn to be a receptionist, she spoke Spanish. And I was like, help me. And it got to yeah. a point where she was like, well, then I'm only going to talk to you in Spanish. And I was like, yep. if you're, <laughs> if you're teaching you me how to like, move on to something though you can't do that to me though because i'll be so fucked um but yeah my ex was his family was all mexican speak they all spanish but every time i was like teaching it they would just he should have done that to me but no for sure he didn't either he was kind of the same way that like he just kind of spoke it and understood it to talk to his family other than that he never really used it yeah no i've had to use it a few times here at work yeah <laughs> like, yeah a lot, we've had, a lot we do have customers that that speak spanish need help i've helped them a few times and then uh we actually have uh, a wholesale wholesaler down in argentina that oh, wants nice. to carry our products so i had to like took him you know start talking to him just fully in spanish i was like oh my gosh and it's interesting like it really makes you think and like like in english i don't have to necessarily think what i'm trying to say i can just say it mm -hmm. but in spanish I'm having like a threefold man conversation in my fucking head. I've always wondered like what, what it was saying. like. So when people speak to you in Spanish, okay, I've always had this question. <laughs> when oh, people fuck. speak to you in Spanish, do you have to like to do the same conversation in your head of dissecting what they said to you to be able to, or do I, you just understand it? I just understand it. And that's just because, so interesting. Uh, you know, I can understand, like, as I guess, I guess this goes back to the fact that there's some words that while I was growing up, I never heard in Spanish. Okay. So when a word like that comes up or a subject or an object I've never heard anyone say because I've just, you know, wasn't around or whatever the case is. Right. Um, 
I have to pause and it plays back in my head in English and in Spanish. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out and dissect from the previous words, like a fucking sent, like taking a fucking FCAT fucking state exam test here and fucking <laughs> How do I, what word does this mean? Are they talking they are going to kill me or shoot uh, at me? Like, what's oh going fuck. on? It's like a tree in here. Which yeah, I'm trying to figure come, out which way I'm going with this Which path are we taking here? <laughs> yeah, no, I have to. Interesting. Yeah, it's 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 interesting. But, I, you know, I, I've, I've, I, very cultural because I uh, played video games a long time and, like, you always get some Russian guys playing or some German guys playing. So you're always catching like a few key words here and there. And like, mm -hmm. you learn all the bad words. Mm -hmm. So it all starts. You gotta learn yeah. the bad words first. If you don't learn the bad words first, you're not learning anything good. <laughs> then what's the point? <laughs> yeah, what's the point? <laughs> exactly. I used to know some bad words in Russian, but not anymore. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta frequently use it. I didn't notice I that. I yeah. should have kept up with the sign. We were in Russia for like a month and I learned a little bit while we were over there, but. I've only recently, in the past three years, I've learned like a, a sentence to say in, in Mandarin, which we should all, you know, kind of practice some of our Mandarin with the shit going on in China right now. But <laughs> uh, fucking, get to learn in. Yeah, <laughs> so like get to learn in everybody. Start learning some more languages. Better learn, you know, better learn Punjab. Better learn fucking, you know, Mandarin or, you know, take up some Russian or some shit. You gotta, mm -hmm. you gotta be some multicultural up in here, like. <laughs> Like I've only learned to say toipu uh toipu chi xing wei. What does that mean? Which means sorry English please. Oh, okay, lovely. In what language? <laughs> In Mandarin. Okay. Say it one more time. Toipu chi xing wei. All mm. right, now if someone can confirm that really yeah, means someone that, yeah, right. that <laughs> you know that I I I learned dope. it from this app and like I downloaded it and paid <laughs> like fucking 30 bucks for it in the app store or some shit and I was like you know I read it and the only thing that clicked in my head was toipu chi xing wei. Yeah. That's it. So interesting. That's the only thing that, that I've kept with. I'm pretty sure it means that. And if not, fuck. If you mix it with something else, hysterical. It, it would be funny, <laughs> but I've said it to a lot of Chinese people. And then when I say it, they're like, oh, okay. And then they start talking in English. So I think mm -hmm. I've been saying the right fucking thing. But maybe I said something offensive. You know, maybe it says, you know, fuck you, speak English, please, or some shit. I don't <laughs> That's even what know. I'm saying. It'd I be funny know. to see. I'd be so comments. fucked up. I, I apologize if I said that to someone, but they've all swapped back to me in English and I feel comfortable now. <laughs> I was like, I just don't understand what you're saying. I want to work with you. I want to, you know, play play at this table playing Baccarat at the casino because that's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. Do you gamble out here at all? Or? No, I no. watch my friends gamble. I seem to be the person who has no luck. I watch everyone win and yeah. then I lose. <laughs> yeah, no. I feel that same it's a way. Great time. Yeah. So what you're saying is you're a lucky charm. I do love <laughs> craps though. Throwing the dice. I guess you could maybe say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. But yes, I do love craps. I love craps sometimes, yeah. but I gotta feel good about it. Yeah. Understood. I like it when I'm throwing the dice, and that's just spoiled. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can't just expect that when you walk up to the table. <laughs> no, that's why I can't play craps. Oh, I haven't played in so long, man. Out here, it's a it's a trap. 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 I've been out here since like 2013, so I'm good. I like park games. Some of them are, yeah, so that's why I can't play in all places because I change the rules that I just don't understand. I don't understand it enough already. Right. <laughs> I just know certain ways Some to play. Some of them you are different than money. Right. Yeah. Yeah, park yeah. MGM's good and easy. That's yeah. why I like park MGM. Yeah, I usually play like at, you know, Green Valley Ranch or Red Rock Fucking or random. What? Green Valley Ranch. Yeah. <laughs> Random as shit. <laughs> no, you never been there? No. No? No. The district? I don't think I've been down there. Oh, man. You got to check it out. You're a local now. That's what you got to do. You don't fucking go to the strip. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really want to go know. to the strip. If it's not on the no. strip, it's kind of booty. Not really, dude. You need to go to the district. The district's nice. I like some things. I like the arts district. Oh, that's downtown. Yeah. Hell yeah. Our, downtown's definitely better than the strip. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I think the Red Rock is better than most hotels on the Strip. Well, Green Valley Ranch is owned by Red Rock. It's a station oh, casino. casino. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They got some pretty, they, they, they keep their shit pretty clean. Yeah. I like that area down there because Red Rock's Summerlin-ish, right? Mm -hmm. yes. I like that little area. Yeah. 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 It's an amazing area. My <laughs> yeah. favorite side of town. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Should we take some bong rips and then Let's sign off and let us know what you got going on and where you're traveling and everything, where everyone can find you? Oh, goodness, golly, gosh, yes. Okay. 
Oh, you were just talking about it. So we'll be at Little Darlings. Yeah, That's going to be in May. I'll yes. see you then. And April, actually, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to Pittsburgh. So maybe already been to Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> um, going to, I have such a calendar, Philly, I believe, in July. Tennessee in June. Love Tennessee. September. Oh, wow. If you guys love to travel and you want to go to San Diego slash Tijuana, too, I'm doing uh, San Diego and Tijuana in September. What is it? September? Down. Mm -hmm. And right. then I'm also doing ten Tennessee at the end of September. I love it's Tennessee. It's a booked year. I'm super excited. Yeah. You're a little busy, huh? That's not even including, like, you know, what I, the other part the of other work. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Everything else. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. Super exciting. I love it. Interesting. I think I actually am going to go to San Diego this year. Let's go we in have September. To. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. no. And TJ? I'm going for Comic Con. Oh, oh uh -huh. wow. Okay. Yeah, I got an opportunity to go. So I'm like, fuck it. Why Are you going to dress up? No, what the fuck? Oh, come on. You have to dress up yeah. if you go to that. No, I don't got time for that shit. <laughs> you can pick the easiest costume. Says the guy who went to Halloween as fucking Magic Mike over here. Yeah, right. I'm just gonna go there with no shirt and just walk around and be like, yeah, it was good. There you go. <laughs> well, That's so funny. What you want to smoke out of, lady? Hmm. I want to try the, the let's regular try the one. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, try no, them all. Right. No, both. Try them all. Try them all. <laughs> <laughs> he always claims the X, though. I never get It's a nice song. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. That perception, bitch. No, this is. Yeah. Now, for all those bowl smokers, smoke the fucking corners. There's some fucking etiquette out there. Oh yeah, finish you got a corner. That's what you've been some doing. Some fucking bowl etiquette. When you <laughs> when you really smoke, are you a typical bowl, bowl smoker or like snaps? Do you do snaps? I thought do oh, people snaps. still call them that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, we do snap bars all the time out here. Yeah, okay. um, yeah, you got a corner. Yeah, just, just four corners. Like, like you know, be respectful yeah. for the next guy. Yeah, or, or, if not, or just pack or it if small not, enough. Or if not, yeah. Pack it small enough. Or if not, you know, if it's by yourself, you know, whatever, smoke the whole fucking thing, be a fucking boss, but you better fucking clear your milk. That's all. True. Yeah. You tell I him. hate that saying so much. <laughs> clear your milk? Yeah. <laughs> Go smoke it, dog. Why? Why do you hate I that mean, saying? I mean, I'm a little traumatized by it. We went live once. I tell this story every time now, but I went live. Someone was like, Clear your fucking milk, pussy. I'm like, bro, what fucking, how old are you? Like, I don't know. No, how old are you? You can't clear your milk. It stuck with me, dude. I'm going to start saying that how? for other things because yeah. that's a really good thing. You heard it here, though. Uh -oh. I cleared it that time. Yeah. I did not it clear my milk. <laughs> I love the XL. I think the XL is the, I think I the hitter with... of, the, of the month. I don't know. I tried that monthly one and <laughs> pretty satisfied with that hit. I think it's a great rig, too. Wow. <laughs> oh, she, she's done. That's going to be my new favorite one. The regular? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Because I, I like the bubble with it. It makes it. Yeah, I mean, it's a different type of perk, too. So that's one of, like, the classic inline perks that we have. Yeah. And then this one's the, uh, is that a shower head, Angel? Yeah. Uh, I can't tell from here, but it looks like it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, you make me nervous. What? The way you pick that up. <laughs> well, no, it's perfect. You can just walk around the house with it even like this. <laughs> yeah, with the girth, If right? you're not yeah. clumsy, yeah. <laughs> it's always, <laughs> it's always, always about that. the girth. <laughs> That's awesome. all it's about. Well, anything else or? Well, I'm stealing it. So clear your milk, guys. Clear your milk. <laughs> Find clear me milk. at Katie Kush XX2 on all social media, kushstrips.org. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you guys next time on Be Where's My Lighter, a Hemper podcast. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely.